Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do Comic Book Hall Week number 202, that's right fans, uh, some pretty high anticipated books this week, a uh, decent amount of books to come out, and before we just jump into that haul, I just wanted to say thank you guys very much for last week's support on... Um, my 3,000 subs or reaching 3,000 subs, I got a lot of great comments and I truly appreciate it. It was like an overwhelming response. So I just want to let every one of you guys know that watch. Uh, thank you for that great, um, all those great words and all those responses to that 3,000 subs. So with that being said, let's jump into this week's haul and see which books I got. So here we go and sorry for it being a little bit late got a tough week all right so first things first we wind up getting that bag on the floor so it gives me room to show my comics all right first things first is we wind up getting extraordinary x-men issue number five uh, kind of a, a little bit of an iconic looking cover as we get to see the x-men's heads and then you get to see like a major villain uh, that's kind of a traditional thing that comics have done in the past. So I like that cover. You get to see whatever Cyclops has become, or like Mr. Si Mr. Sinister Science Experiment there. So I'm anxiously to wait to see what's happened on this issue. So this is Extraordinary X-Men issue number five. All right, next we have um, <clears throat> Web Warriors issue number three. I really enjoyed issue one. Issue 2, not so much. So what is Issue 3 going to deliver here with Web Warriors and our cast of characters doing battle against a whole bunch of uh, Electroverse characters? So does this story continue to go on the good side or does it go towards the bad side? So I have a feeling in the future I might have to make a decision with this book because there is a lot of books out there to read right now. And with possibly DC doubling up maybe on some of their titles now, that means even more comics to buy so we'll see where it goes so this is web warriors issue number three next we have the uncanny avengers issue number four um this could be a breaking point for me with this book too uh, originally i was all excited about it because it had spider-man on it he dipped out and after the not even through the first three pages of the book um we got some other team members in here and the book hasn't really been in that interesting with the shredded man we had cable in the last issue so we'll see where this one goes so this is the uncanny avengers issue number four Next, we have a great series from DC Comics, and this is the Superman American Alien series. We're going on issue number three. Clark is dealing with another point in his life, and that's what this series has been about. We've got to see him learn how to fly. We get to see him uh, cause death and, and, and try to go on the right side of things. And in this issue, I'm not sure, but I'm always interested to see what the artwork looks like because the artwork is always so different in each issue. And this is the way it looks right now. So it looks like it's, it's Clark's birthday in this book. So Superman, American Alien, issue number three. All right, next we have another nice book from uh, DC Comics, which I hope doesn't go anywhere. And this is Starfire, uh, issue number eight. Is Grayson and uh, Starfire an item? Are they going forward? Is it Grayfire or something like that? You know how they combine the names? I don't know. But anyway, this is Starfire and uh, uh, issue number eight. Next we have a book from Valiant Comics which is Ninjak issue number 11, part two of Operation Dead Side. Um, I'm not too thrilled with this first part of this story arc. Uh, the artwork, I think, changed on it a little bit. I, I remember I was bored by it. Artwork looks good, but I just didn't like where the direction was going. I'll give it one more try to see what I'm going to do with this series. The last story arc was phenomenal. This one... Not so much. So this is Ninjak issue number 11. All right, next we go on to one of my all new, all different favorite series, and this is Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, issue number four, written by Brian Michael Bendis. The artwork in this book is absolutely gorgeous. I even love the dialogue in this book uh, as well. Um, we get to see uh, possibly Peter Quill uh, getting ready to, he was rescued from the, um, 
uh, from the Cree member in here, Ohala was, was her name. So it looks like she's still causing havoc in this issue. So, and she's doing battle against Kimura in here. So, uh, really fun book. I, I really love the action in here. Good pacing, uh, much better direction. I feel than, uh, than its previous volume. So guardians of the galaxy issue number four. All right, next from DC, we wind up getting, uh, green lantern core, Edge of Oblivion. So does this mark the return of the Green Lantern Corps? Because they're nowhere to be found right now. Al Jordan's on his own. The writer of this book is Tom Taylor, which is a phenomenal writer. I love Tom Taylor. Um, he's writing uh, All New Wolverine right now. He wrote Superior uh, Iron Man. He did the Injustice book. Everything he writes is really well done. He gives the characters meaning uh, and, and just awesome so i can't wait to read this and hopefully this is a green lantern uh core book that we've been waiting for for a long time all right next we have gotham academy issue number 14 uh gotham academy really good read again it's one of those books that i like i don't love it because i like reading it in trade that much more so uh, i'm hanging to on to this one by its thread i i want to I want to continue it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to. I might read it in trade uh, after this issue just because, again, I have so many books that I buy every single week that I got to start making certain cuts. So we'll see what this issue has to offer for its readers. Gotham Academy issue number 14. It's got the dude playing tennis on there. I love that for that. All right. Next, Black Knight issue number three. Issue number one, great. Issue number two, a lot of battling going on between the Uncanny Avengers. And uh, I love the first book so much because it felt like a, almost like an independent book. And in this book, it, it was like you had Black Knight doing battle against Uncanny Avengers. And they're trying to see how corrupt he is because of if the ebony blade is taking over his mind. So we'll see how issue three has to offer. This is Black Knight issue number three. All right. Now we go on to Batman and the Ninja Turtles issue number two. It looks like Batman and the Ninja Turtles are going to interact with each other in this particular issue for the first time. Will they do a battle at first and then eventually team up to do to do battle against a common enemy? I don't know. We'll see. But this is Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue two. Next is the all-new X-Men, issue number three, as we have the Ghost of Cyclops doing battle against the other X-Men in here. So this story arc continues. Mark Bagley does the artwork, and uh, this book is really focused amongst the uh, the X-Men from the past, where the other books deal with the current X-Men. So this is a good series. Uh, we'll see where it goes. It has X-23 in there, Laura, so she's really well done. And, uh, and so this is all new X-Men, issue number three. Next, we have another issue of all new Wolverine as this I felt like came out two weeks ago so this is like doubling up she's teaming up against with Doctor Strange to try to see if she can find a cure for her clone buddies and uh, seeing if she can get years back on their life because without them feeling pain they have a very short lifespan so uh, she's gonna find out this cure with Doctor Strange so all new Wolverine issue number four great book all new all different Avengers. Been very disappointed with this series for so far. I've had high expectations for this. Mark Wade is on it. Uh, the com free comic book day issue was so good. The first two issues of this have, for me, have just completely flopped. And I'm hoping this improves. I'm not a huge fan of Warbringer. Um, so I want them to get through this story arc and get to the next one. So this is all new, all different Avengers issue number three. Next, we have another new number one. This is inspired by the hit TV show Shield, and this is uh, Agents of Shield issue number one. Now, does this deal more with like the TV show where it's a continuity thing and continues, or is this a bunch of one shots? I'm not quite sure yet. I didn't do too much research in it, but it was a number one. Had to try it out, and this is Shield number one. Next, we have a brand new book from Boom. And this is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number 0. That's right, guys. 
definitely looking forward to this book. Cool cover. Um, you know, at first I wasn't going to get it because I was never a huge fan of of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I felt like they were a generic version of Voltron, but everyone's been talking about this, so I, I got to give it a try. So this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Anxiously to see what this is about and if it's any good. All right. Next, we have the long-awaited conclusion of Secret Wars. It's finally here, issue 9 of 9, as you have Reed Richards doing battle against all Lord God Doom. Who will win? Who will lose? We will find out at the end. And how did the Marvel Universe become the way it is now? I'm sure we will get that answer. You guys will get a review on this right here on this channel. So this is Secret Wars, issue number 9. And then last but not least, my baby, The Walking Dead, issue number 150. Uh, can't wait to see what's going on with Rick and the crew, what's going to happen in this issue, but you'll get a review right here on Comic Book Corner 2.0, again, as long as well with this issue and Power Rangers as soon as possible. Um, again, I'm strapped for time this week, so I'll do what I can to get any others up there. But there is the haul for the week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. And uh, in the comments below, again, please tell me the comics that you're most interested in reading. What books you got in your haul this week. And fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. Don't forget to check out my old school Comic Book Corner channel and where I review all kinds of other classic comic books and my own and uh, my group channel comic frontline so again guys until that next comic book review this is mike spider slayer signing off and this has been comic book hall week number 202 thanks for watching guys take care bye